Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be the weekly review of the Power Profit Scan newsletter, which is a component of the subscription service that I offer. The other component being the live trading chat room. That probably gets a little bit more talk, but there is also the newsletter that you would get access to. And I email this out on a weekly basis. And you know, this is just kind of how it all works. So I wanna just make you aware of it. What you see right now is actually, after you were to sign into your account, we're just in the newsletter section of the website. Like I said, you can access this through the website or it is emailed to you also. But what I wanna do is just go over, uh, you know, kind of some past results. Now, before I go any further, the disclosure that I make every week, am I trying to imply that every single alert is a winner? Absolutely not. Nobody is perfect, no system is perfect, no scanner is perfect. So I don't wanna make it seem like every single you know stock that I send out is going to be a winner. But what I do wanna display is this is why risk management and risk control is so important because while losses certainly do happen, winners also happen. And when those winners do happen, you need to you know know and you need to have your account in a position where you can let the winners you know take care of everything else. Second part is we are going back a little ways and we're going to be focused on the week of 9 24 18 why are we going back so far well two reasons first it's just simply giving the chart plenty of time to play out plenty of data to form and the second it's just a matter of being fair the last thing i want is for somebody to pay and then a couple days later see the stuff that they just paid for online for free on youtube so hopefully you see kind of the common sense there it's just a matter of being fair so let's get to it first alert here that i want to talk about was sent out uh in into the trend trading category, ticker symbol MTCH. Uh, you look over here at the prices. Yes, it's a little bit more, but as you'll notice, uh, I, I do, I'm, I'm not biased towards price. I've done penny stocks, I'll do big board stocks. So I just find patterns that I think have a potential at profit. Um, so just keep that in mind. It's not like every single stock is up in this price range. But as you see here from the annotations, uh, just and via the category itself, trend trading, I make the note here, you know, if you still believe in the trend, Here's a pullback for you. And then I denote, you know, just the overall trend here. And I also map out this, you know, area of support. And that's what we're gonna mainly focus on. But this is the overall alert that was sent out. So let's see how it played out. As I believe I mentioned earlier, the, the scans are sent out over the weekend. So what you see here is the previous week. And then the next day you see will be the, you know, opening part of the following week. So let's see how things played out. Now what's interesting here is that if you did buy, you know, somewhere right around here, you actually got a, a nice little bounce within the trend itself. But I'm just gonna, we're gonna just assume that, you know, you, you didn't play that. Maybe you're focused more so on this 52-ish dollar area down here, which I denoted. But again, like I said, there's, depending on your personal risk tolerance, on your personal uh, approach to the trade, uh, you know, it would not have been illogical at all uh, for somebody to have gotten in down around here. And as you see here, you know, got right around almost a $5 bounce right there. But like I said, for this example, we'll just assume that you you didn't play that. Maybe you missed it or whatever. But you're thinking, you know what? I'm going to keep an eye on that $52 mark. So time goes by and there you have the pullback to it. Price drops a little bit below it. And then that happens right there where the price actually goes all the way down there. So I would assume... Eight out of 10 times, most people would have been stopped out on that move, but, so yes, this was technically a, a, a losing uh, alert via you know the parameters here that I've uh, outlined. But what I like about this is it just gives a, a good real life example of what just kind of happens. And check that out. Look at the bounce back up after people would have been probably stopped out. So sure that it actually did bounce, but you know, have you ever been here before? Where you get in, it drops, it stops you out, you're being disciplined and all of a sudden you turn around and up it goes. It happens, you're not alone, and here's an example of that. Where $52, it was right, but it was not right because it wasn't quite, you know, it didn't account for the, the, the follow through down here. Like I said, maybe uh, some people might have been able to withstand that, but I think most people would have probably been stopped out. And then to have it shoot straight back up in your face, hey, welcome to the world of trading. The next alert was up here in the breakout coming question mark category. Um, and, you know, just kind of mapped out, it was starting to build some higher bases, and this is ticker symbol MHLD. And as the note makes, you know, can the bulls get a breakout? So let's see how this played out. 
Now what I do like about this one is it's not very clean. It's not, now there have been pass alerts you know, in previous videos where things have been just, okay, that's the breakout point and then boom, it breaks out and the rest is history. In fact, uh, spoiler alert for the one coming later on, you'll see it was basically like a flawless, flawless play. However, not everything is flawless. Sometimes things are sloppy and there's, it's just not nearly as clean as what it could be. And this is a good example of that. So I, I'm still gonna consider this one a winner. Um, but like I said, by no means is it uh, some sort of just absolutely flawless and beautiful, uh, you know, kind of play out of how, you know, ideally you would wanna see a chart act, like, you know, the one we'll see here uh, soon to be. But we'll quickly go through this one. And right there you can see the breakout that gets up there and then all of a sudden it gets rejected back down. And then it pulls back some more, tries another breakout, doesn't quite do it. So it's trying, it's trying, but it can't quite do it. But at the same time, it's not like the price is crashing back downwards. I mean, it's not even close to the secondary green line of support right there. And then all of a sudden it kind of enters into this territory where it's just going sideways, sideways. So again, it's not like the price has crashed or anything, but kind of annoying when right out the gates, tries to get through that level and all of a sudden it's just kind of sitting here, sitting here, not doing much not doing much again no crashes or anything like that it's just simply kind of going sideways going sideways and then all of a sudden there it happens right there the volume comes surging in and the breakout actually occurs and then it spends some time up in that area of the chart which is right around a 15 percent move so nothing huge but i mean hey 15 percent um, and, and you know that's the profit window. So I don't know, even if you got 10%, that, that's still much better than your local bank is gonna pay you. But what I like is, you know, is how it just, it was kind of a, an annoying type of 15%, an annoying type of 10, 12%, whatever you wanna, you know, potentially say, you know, it, it was made. It just wasn't very clean. But yeah, not all winners, not all trades are ever going to play out flawlessly. Things like this happen. So I, I like this quite a bit as an example because it's a, a real world view of just how sometimes a setup can play out where it's not all uh, just absolutely flawless. Now this one actually comes about via YouTube comments, so as always, I appreciate the questions, I appreciate the feedback that you leave. But somebody asked, hey Clay, do you ever talk about shorting setups or is it always just things that are kind of implied from the long side? And I do. And down at the bottom portion of this newsletter, there is a, a section where I talk about a couple different other strategies, one of these being shorting. And now I don't give charts or anything because um, you know if you take the course, and yes, this is a, a quick little plug, if you're interested in the shorting for profit course or any of the other courses I offer, uh, you can go there and do that. However, the point here is that um, I don't really need to map out anything because if you've taken the course, then all you need is a ticker symbol and you can kind of take the ball and run from there. Or in other words, you know, I'm kind of pointing to, hey, you know, there, there's some fish over there but you know how to go over there and actually catch the fish because you've taken the course. So for this one, what I wanna just focus on um, is like I said, just to answer the question, yes, I do offer uh, short alerts, but it's nothing detailed like the other chart examples. Um, but again, when you take the course, you'll know exactly how to you know, analyze you know, these ticker symbols. But let's take a look at PETQ. So this was the alert when it was sent out. And you know, if you've taken the course, this is uh, you know you know what sorts of things to be looking for. So we'll just have this thing play out, and you can see pulls back a little bit there, and then things really start to get rough there, and down it goes. So from up here around 42 to then down there around uh, actually 34, and just a matter of a couple of days. I'm not quite sure what that percentage is, but you see over $6 per share to the downside, and I think it might have actually dropped on even further. Well, now this is getting a, a pretty long trade. So regardless, the point here being that from where it was alerted right there, you can see a little bit of consolidation and then down it went. So yeah, those people that enjoy shorting, this was a nice opportunity for them uh, to lock in some profits from the short side of the market. The final alert to talk about here is category of a pullback play and ticker symbol IGC. And uh, the setup was actually quite simple. Got a candlestick that implied a pullback uh, very well could be coming. And you can see right there, mapped out the pullback level, uh, you know, right around this general vicinity right here. So let's see how this one played out. Unfortunately, uh, you know, if you're not aware, IGC was delisted and then it was, uh, it's back now, but 
I can't, it's not on eSignal anymore, my charting platform. So this is gonna be kind of anticlimactic because I'm not gonna be able to scroll like I was doing. But luckily stockcharts.com still has uh, the old data. But when things get a new ticker symbol, because now the new ticker symbol is IGCC, um, you know, eSignal, it just totally wipes it away from the system and you can't access the past data anymore. So like I said, it's not gonna be like the previous ones where I've scrolled candlestick by candlestick. Um, you're just gonna see everything right away, but um, it is what it is, so we'll go with it. And as you can see here, an absolute steroidal gorilla. What a monster. You look right here, remember, this was the pullback point that I was talking about. Remember that 205 number? Look at 205, literally. Not patting myself on the back, but the power of charts. And I assume just an entry point of 210, because uh, you always wanna you know, get slightly above there. Uh, but anyways, you know, even if you, you got in higher than that, at, I don't know, 250 or something like that. Point being, it did pull back, and then it went all the way as high as $14.58, which created a profit window of 594%. Am I implying that anybody played it perfectly and got 594%? Absolutely not. Let's say you screwed up half the trade. Half the trade is still basically over 250%. So I mean, let's say you really, really screwed up the trade and you got 200%. Okay, think about what you're saying. Man, I really screwed that up and I got 200% return on my, my money. Think about it. So it was just an absolute monster, and this is why just losses happen, annoying trades happen, but keep things under control, keep the risk under control, because you never know when something like this might be around the corner. And some, you know, a, a trade like this, even if you trade it completely terribly and quote unquote only get 200% from it, that wipes away a whole lot of disciplined and controlled losses. Finally, before I go, if you are interested in signing up so you can start to get access to these new letters, newsletters, and then also remember there is the live trading chat room too, just go to claytrader.com forward slash inner circle or just claytrader.com and up at the top, you'll see a, a section for inner circle. And you, know, you can sign up there. All the benefits are mapped out here. Uh, there's also a mobile app that comes with it. So it's not like you're, you have to be stay chained to your computer or anything like that. You can stay in touch uh, no matter where you are. As far as price, it is $99 per year, not per week, not per quarter, per year. If you break that down with the math, it actually equates to 825 per month. Or if you wanna break it down even further to what's it, what's it cost per week, $1.90. I mean, literally $1.90 per week. So I, I think, not think, I know that's more than fairly priced. And as I say every week, and I'm gonna to continue to say, over the time span of 12 months, I'm very, very confident you'll get at least $99 worth of value. I mean, 12 months, $99 worth of value. Yeah, I, I'm pretty confident you know, uh, that will be delivered to you. If there are any other questions or anything, uh, you can email me. You can just leave them in the comment section below, and um, I will do my best to answer them. And yeah, I hope, hopefully you decide to, uh, to give it a try and subscribe.